go. Guys, what is up? It's Teach here coming at you again with another video over on Scorched Earth. And obviously, as you can see, I have a ridiculous number of drops that are coming down to me right now. So anyways, what is the point of this? So if you didn't already figure it out, Scorched Earth is absolutely one of the craziest maps when it comes to actually getting drops. If you didn't know this already, pretty much a red drop is almost guaranteed to give you something no matter what stage in the game you're at that you're going to want. So I've gone ahead and set this to one X. By the way, there's no boost in the loot. This is normal loot that you would get on an official server. Now on an official server, these are essentially going to be the same numbers, but there is a cap on official server. So you'll hit the maximum end of that cap so you can get some absolutely wild loot. Now there are 50 drops incoming so you can actually see and uh, yeah it's uh, it's kind of wild if you didn't know that already so basically with the scorched earth map uh yeah that's that's all of them right there but see where the water goes if you follow the water all the way up essentially what that is is that's red and yellow drop alley so you can quite literally get just about all of the red and yellow drops just by going up that little alley and uh, that's the only place they can spawn except for the deep ocean crates on the actual sand. And uh, you can get some absolutely bonkers loot. You can get anything from things that you can uh, demolish inside of a grinder in order to gather thousands of metal, thousands of ingot, thousands of paste, all kinds of crazy stuff. Oh my goodness, the lag. Uh, so in this video, I'm going to show you what it's like to get a bunch of drops just to show you the loot table. Oh my goodness, the lag is real. There we go. All right, so I actually had to lower my graphics into the lowest possible settings in order to actually access all of this. So let's go ahead and open all of them now that I'm in low settings, though, and that'll be kind of go through what we can here. But you can see that I'm already getting a ridiculous amount of loot. There's a Ascendant Fasilisuchus saddle, a normal Ascendant of Fasilisuchus. Oh my goodness, they're all over the place. Uh, but another one of the benefits about getting the Scorched Earth drops, in case you haven't already gotten some of them, is you can get some really good loot when it comes to actually getting black pearls. You can get um, all kinds of uh, recipes, which is kind of cool. Shadow steak sautés. You can get missiles. You can get uh, explosives. You name it. It's kind of wild the amount of loot that you can get out of this. And uh, don't worry, I will go over all of this in the very end of this video. I'm kind of just like tapping to go through it all right now uh, because I just want to be able to show you. But uh, if you're not paying attention, obviously these are red drops with the yellow rings around them or what's commonly called double loop. Uh, so the yellow um, loop around the outside, like the little ring for all these drops, just means that you have the double the chance of loot on them. Wow, that was a crazy Megalania saddle that I just got right there. It should be just about good here. Okay, okay, we're still going. Um, there is some insane number of Fasilisaka saddles that I'm getting out of this. There's a Thylacolio saddle. Uh, there's a Mastercraft flamethrower in there. There's a really good Rex saddle, a really good Rock Golem saddle, a Racer saddle. Yeah, so these, unlike the drops that you get over on the island or anywhere else, are very specific to this map. So you're almost guaranteed to get stuff that's incredibly valuable, which is kind of cool. And that should be it, right? Yeah, that's all of them. So anyways, that is all of those drops. So let's go ahead and look at our loot. So obviously here is our blueprint cache that we've just gotten. Uh, that's a 138 Vasilisakis saddle. Uh, there's a 100, a 110, a 75. So there's a ton of those. Uh, Megalosaurus saddle, even though they're not really gonna be valuable on this map. Um, that's a crazy saddle for when Aberration comes out. So if you get something like that, store it for Aberration. Megalania saddle, pretty good. Look at these Rex saddles. That's a 117 and a 137 Rex saddle. That's wild. A 130 Rex saddle. Obviously, that's basically cap right there. Um, so every time you make it, it's going to go above the actual item cap, and then it's going to drop back down to the maximum. Uh, so that's pretty crazy. Thylacolio, U Tyrannus, that's obviously way above. That's a 183, so that's going to drop down to the cap. But... I got in those 2,000 advanced rifle or advanced bullets, some advanced rifle bullets, um, assault rifles. That's some pretty good one right there. 161 is not shabby. Uh, these are huge. Black pearls on this map can be hard to get a hold of. 35 C4 charges. Um, some castroid saddle. That's a 150. That's not too shabby. Um, some really good comp bows, actually. 176 is not bad at all. Um, I'll take that data on saddle all day. But you can see that all this stuff. These fabricated pistols are pretty good. Uh, sniper's not terrible. 130 is a little bit low, but you know, it could be worse. 
Uh, that's a 102 just straight up fast loss suck his saddle. That's really nice. There's a 212. Um, but you can see the loot table is quite nice. Unfortunately, we didn't get any flak BPs, but there's a bunch of flak that we got. These are really powerful. The Mastercraft Flamethrower at 180%. It's almost two times the value of a, just a Prim uh, Flamethrower. That is going to give you an insane amount of damage boost. So that is really nice. I like that a lot. Uh, pretty freaking cool. Uh, and then obviously you've got some more valuable things to grind up if you want them or use them. Industrial grill, lamp post, elevator platforms worth a ton. Oh, so we take those. Uh, Lazarus chatters are nice to have. The Megalania saddles, you can even grind these up if you don't use them. The Megalosaurus saddles, they're worth a ton of hide. A bunch of metal structure. Uh, that water intake, metal shield, the racer uh, platform saddle. That's a really good one. Uh, 400 regular propellant, 500 polymer. Uh, I got some decent pump action shotguns, some crazy wreck saddles in there. Uh, Riot gear, definitely won't ever wear this on this map. So grind that stuff right up and use the resources for it. Some really good rock golem saddles. Those are kind of crazy. Um, homing missile, RPGs, normal scuba gear, which you only need for like one cave on this entire map. Uh, silica pearls, silver, sweet veggie cake. Dialacolio saddles. This would be hilarious to put somewhere on the map. A woolly rhino horn and then some really good ut saddles so that is 50 drops almost all of this stuff i would be like oh cool i got that i'll take that all day even if you need to grind it up but the drops that you can get on this map are wild so you should definitely utilize that and uh, if you don't believe me i'll just go ahead and get a couple of the regular drops as long as i'm here too i've got a video where i kind of just show you how to get drops on this map um, but it is kind of crazy. So this is just a normal purple drop with 10 left. Okay, Carno Saddle and 77 Sulfur Bug Repellent. Yep, I will take that one all day. And that's just a purple drop. So with the uh, rings around the two, even the uh, just the generic white drops, I will be picking those up all the time. There's a 131 Ankylo Saddle inside of a uh, blue drop. So yeah, the drops on this map are crazy. So definitely use them and... Uh, definitely take advantage of that and uh, hopefully this video helps you out and if you don't mind smack that like button leave a comment below for the algorithm and then consider subbing to the channel all right teach